Okay, welcome to episode one of the Max Bloom versus the High Bay LED light. Uh, in the previous video, that was just the intro to the video series. I kind of showed you my grow tent and how I had everything kind of set up. So right now, I'm just kind of going through some preparations uh, to get this experiment started. And right now, I'm using I got two rock cool cubes, and this is actually one of those take home trays from a restaurant. I'm just reutilizing it. It has this nice clear plastic top on it. And I pretty much poke some holes in here just to keep the humidity level so it's not too high and so it can breathe. Um, and then I got my cherry tomato seeds. And these seeds are all from one single cherry tomato. Um, now normally I would do clones when I do experiments like this or I'd use a larger sample size. But uh, I kind of know what to look for when I'm looking for differences between the lights. So genetics uh, can play a role, but there are certain signs of when something is going on with genetics of a plant uh, versus just growth characteristics. So through the process I'll just be taking measurements of like node spacing or at least just making an observation of it. Um, or uh, for in the end of the flowering and fruiting phase that you know we'll just obviously observe how much more flowering or fruiting we get from one light versus the other. In order for there to be a significant difference it needs to be a a, a higher percentage between the two. So what I'm going to do is take here the seeds, I'm just going to put them in each rock wool cube, close it up, and then we're going to put it on a heat tray. Uh, and then we'll get over to doing that in a minute. Alright, so I got my heat mat here, and there is a board underneath it for just for rigidity, so I can move it around easier. And then I got my tray here. Oops, I don't want the top on it. tray and I'm just going to take the container here, close it up, just put it right on top of that and then I'm going to put it in my tent uh, until these germinate and then I'll take these out and put them in the net cups with the clay pebbles and, and fill the container with uh, the nutrient solution. So this is just going to go in there and sit in the dark uh, for a couple days. Now you don't necessarily need to use a heat mat if you're germinating seeds. I just find that it's uh, it definitely does cut some time off. It, you get better success with germination, uh, and they germinate a little bit quicker. It could be a, a couple days even. Uh, so I got my air pump here, and the air stones. These are going to go in the bottom of the container. These are five-inch net pots, and this container is a 10-gallon. Uh, uh, it's not Rubbermaid. It's uh, it's Husky, but you can get these from the big box store, like Home Depot or Lowe's. And I just got my light on low here just for purposes of making the video. I, I didn't bother turning the other one on because it's too bright and I don't have a potentiometer to dim it yet. It's uh, actually on the way. But um, uh, this one here uh, is just on pretty much the dimmest setting. So I can actually turn it up brighter, a lot brighter. I don't really need it to be that bright right now. So I'm set it on low. Um, so that's going to sit in there uh, for a couple days and germinate and we'll come back when they have sprouted and then we'll fill this up and everything. Now everything you see here in the video, um, except for the air stones, uh, if you want these air stones, I mean, I like these, but you can go to any aquarium store, fish store, or pet store, or whatever, and find those, or even Walmart carries them. The air pump, uh, the net pots, the clay pebbles, all stuff, everything's gonna be in the description below if you're interested in using anything I'm using here. I don't take any commission on any of the links I provide. Um, those are just there for your benefit make it easier for anyone else who's interested. Uh, the only thing I don't think I've included at this moment is the rock wool cubes. I can also include that. You'll probably see it when you watch this video. So that's it for this episode. Uh, we'll see you in a few days when I bring on episode two. Thanks for watching.